So what is good YouTube, it's your boy Legendary EA, and we are back here for another episode of the Chicago Bulls My League. If you guys missed the last video, make sure you go ahead and check it out. We simmed through the entire playoffs, and you guys can go ahead and see how that entire thing ended, you guys. Well, if you guys want to see it, I'll make sure you go ahead and put a link to it in the description, as well as in the top right hand corner. Now today is going to be a double upload day, and it's probably going to be along with an NBA video, so either that video is already out, or it is on its way itself, but today we're going to be starting the, the offseason. We're going to be completing the entire offseason. That is the goal. So if you guys enjoy this series and want to see more, please make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. And let's get 200 likes for another episode of this series, man. The NBA draft in real life is this Thursday. So truth be told, after that, uh, I might try to go one or two more seasons with this Bulls in the next week or so. And then actually go ahead and try... And then actually go ahead and try to start it with a brand new team with those updated rosters, man. I think that that would definitely be litty for you guys. Let me know which kind of trades that we should be looking at for this up and coming season. Let your boy know in the comment section below. As well as start giving me some teams to actually start looking into about starting up next, man. I I've been hearing so many names. But yo, other than that, let's get straight into this video because obviously we walked away with the championship. And this is what the roster is looking like, man. We got Clay, Gordon Hayward. Mohamed Baum was looking like a who looks like he's about to be a superstar. Lori Markkinen, who we just paid. Chris Dunn, who's on a who's on an, an extension. Uh, Miles Bridges, Gary Trent Jr., Onyeka, Briston be calling him the big O. You guys, you guys already know what's up. My tour maker, Jalen Hans, who looks like he's gonna be our future at point guard. Leangelo Ball, Eric Gordon, Rondo, and Wes Matthews. Man, we won a championship. Now, I do got to say that Gordon Hayward is on the trade block. We're definitely looking to actually trade this man. And we are projected to be getting the eighth overall pick. Now, if we could possibly move up, that'd be great. And the 29th and 30th pick. And honestly, I already let you guys know in the last one, I am trying to move up and get RJ Hampton. I feel like he could be our point guard of the future. The man's three-point rating is actually it's not, it's not that bad. His playmaking is really, really good. His perimeter defense is above average. So basically, so basically we are getting we are getting a younger version of Chris Dunn, who is who's better on who is gonna be better on offense. He's taller, and he's gonna be just as good on defense and playmaking. And his potential is through the roof. That's saying he's gonna be a starter. Keen sense of knowing what to do with the ball and when to do it. Has his rough spot, has his rough spots, but is a solid overall player. He's capable of creating his own shot. I think that he can be great for us, man. If we can't get him, of course, um, we're going to look at other guards like Kyrie Walker. Like, I think that we need a point guard. And, and and if we cannot trade up and get RJ Hampton, then I might as well trade all my draft picks. But if I can trade up and get him, I would be including these two picks uh, and my and my eighth pick to try to move up into the top four. And I'd probably throw in another asset. Probably somebody like, Jello's about to be a free agent. So maybe like somebody like, nobody crazy though, because I, Honestly, I'm already giving you guys three picks. It's probably like West Matthews or something. Uh, I think that that would actually be I think that that would actually be realistic. You guys are getting two extra first round picks, even though they 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 are late round picks. They still matter. So we'll see what that happen what happens there. As far as retirements go, um, we don't care about none of these players retiring because none of them are even in the Hall of Fame. League meetings though. <laughs> okay. This only applies to, like, LeBron, but nah, dog. Let's, we're going to decline all of these, dog. We're already declining every single last one. But getting into the draft, Lotto, man, I really like this team, man. But Gordon Hayward, this season, I mean, he, he, he was great for us in, in the playoffs, but we don't need him. I mean, we have Miles Bridges who can low-key better than him. I'm not going to lie. His man is low-key better than him. So I think it's realistic to actually trade Gordon Hayward if he's not really helping us out. And, I mean, we could probably move him somewhere else. But we are projected to be getting the ninth pick now. So, now they're making it worse on us. So, let's go through the entire lotto. Let's see what, we want, what we're rocking with, man. If we can just land in that top five, maybe I can trade up one spot and get Hampton. But, regardless, I should be able to actually move up. Chris Dunn is great. But, like, as far as the future is looking, he is 27. Um, our timetables are not on the same map because Mo Bamba is 22. Lori Markin is, like, 22. Um, <laughs> Miles Bridges is like 22. Hey, man, I'm trying to keep this thing going for, for the longest. And Clay, Clay is, Clay is dirt old. Clay, Clay is old. But, I mean, 
It's Clay Thompson, man. Gordon Hayward, he wasn't even putting up buckets like that. And we end up with the ninth pick. Cleveland has the fourth pick. All right, so staff signings, I am good with our entire staff. Combine-wise, you get to the combine. <laughs> the fastest person is Noah Farrakhan. I've actually heard that name before. It sounds very familiar. Noah's also, so Noah was just, that man, that man got some speed on him. All right. All right. Highest vertical goes to uh, Joseph Christopher. Oh, yeah, we're also going to be looking at uh, Marcus Bagley as well. Who can hit that three? Hampton finished, Hampton tied for number one of NBA moving three. This is this is valuable information, guys. He also had the highest standing college three. Okay. I'm trying to get RJ Hampton. If you guys have not already realized, I'm trying to move up and get him. But we are going to be scouting. We're going to scout a lot of the top guys like Jalen Green. See if he if he falls RJ Hampton. Um, who's now ranked second. We didn't really scout him. We're going to scout, we're going to scout Isaiah Todd because Isaiah Todd could play small forward if we if we really wanted to make that happen. We could definitely try it out. Julian Schrader, we, we can sign him there. Uh, I don't, nah. Um, Kyrie Walker. His playmaking is, it's not that bad, but I mean, his former defense is actually like pretty decent. We're going to scout Giannis' brother, Scotty Barnes. Um, we don't need any centers. There's no point in scouting a center. Marcus Bagley, let's send him an invite. And I, I'm not looking at Noah Farrakhan. Honestly, if I can't get one of those top guys, I honestly don't care. Jalen Williams, let's, let's, let's take a look at you as well. <clears throat> All right, then. Yeah, let's only scout those guys. The fastest is Bagley. All right, highest vertical, Jalen Green. Yo, they, they're saying that Jalen Green is like a Hall of Famer. They, they're saying Vince Carter. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't getting him. That's all. I, that's all I'm gonna say. Like, can he like not shoot if he's Sean Marion? Well, I don't know. All star, starter. We gonna see. All right, that's all I gotta see. Who's the best shooter here? Hampton is. Is it time miss all them things? Sheesh. Jalen Green, man. If I could get him, I definitely would. But it ain't looking like it, man. It's not looking like right now they got RJ Hampton going third to the Kings. The Kings have De'Aaron Fox still, so I don't see that happen. I might actually be able to get him in like I might be able to trade up to like pick number six, maybe. Or like five. Who do the Magic have a point guard? The Magic. Who do they got a point guard? They, yeah, they got Cole Anthony. So truth be told, because I think everybody knows that Jalen Green's going one. Isaiah Top's probably gonna be going two. We might be able to get him at like pick number six and trade up. That's interesting. All right, that's definitely interesting. Let's see what these what is looking like if I trade all of those together. If I can get like the sixth pick, I'm not I'm not trading up only one. I think I might have to wait to till the draft to actually do it though. So yeah, I think I think we're good. So all right. So before I do that, I do want to look at some of these offers for a Gordon Hayward just real quick. And it has to make sense. This is like some of these trades are just bad. Paul George is better, um, but nah, uh, I, I don't think that the Thunder are gonna be trading him. All right, so we can get the eighth pick in Kelly Oubre. Oubre was terrible. What are the Grizzlies doing though? Did the Grizzlies are right, they missed out on the playoffs? Their team is TJ McConnell, Luca. They could upgrade at small forward. Yeah, that they have a second round pick there. This ain't that bad, to be real with you. This this low-key might be realistic. We have no need for a Gordon Hayward, but they definitely do. Of course, they need a point guard. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to give them one, but I am giving them an all-star. And we are getting the eighth pick back, which will give us two picks within the top ten. I think that's realistic, y'all. I'm being, I'm being real with you. I, I think that that is realistic. We still have Miles Bridges on the team to lock up that spot. We got a bunch of options, just to be real. And if we want to see, even play Klay Thompson at small forward, and, like, we have so many options to actually do there. But signing on Gordon Hayward when he was not productive this past season, I'm not really feeling that. See, getting the eighth pick is great. Instead of me getting Kelly Oubre, even though he is on a one-year deal. So, that's not even, like, a big problem. He is just on a one-year deal. 
We got we got to find a third team to take on Kelly Oubre. He's not he's not gonna get it. He's not getting any playing time here. So I'm actually completely fine. As a matter of fact, slimy too. Cause come on, man. He was a first round. Pick. Actually, no, you guys can have him. All right, I'm willing to actually do this to actually do this three team trade. I think it's fair for everybody. We're sending Gordon Hayward over to the Memphis Grizzlies. We are getting the eighth pick. Nico, we. Uh, we we are getting Nick Alexander Walker in a second round pick. Clippers get Kelly Oubre. Everybody wins. I get the eighth pick. Dog. Everybody wins. As a matter of fact, I might even throw in. I'll even throw in a second round pick to them. You guys were just feeling that. Seriously. How are you? How are you guys okay? With 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 me doing it, but okay, hold on. Give me anybody. Yeah, I'll, I'll just take him. All right. I I I don't see what, what the problem is here. Like I, I I really don't. What what about this, dude? Dude, this is idiotic. We're gonna take this deal, and then we're just gonna trade Ke Kelly Oubre. I don't know why they, they made it so so difficult. It's the same trade. It's not like they're getting anything less when 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 we take that trade. Like the Clippers stand to benefit. And now now they're trying to give me a first round pick for him in Justin Patton. Don't you guys don't have to give me Justin Patton. Just the first round pick, you guys probably wouldn't even do that. Hold on. 2020. You guys will do something like Hold on. Let me go back to it. All right, so Gordon Hayward is gone. That's already a gone. That's that. That's already that's that, that. That's already happened. So I'll take I'll take Indiana's pick, and I'll throw you guys also a second round pick. There we go. We basically did a three team trade, but now we so now we do have the eighth pick and the ninth pick. Let's hop into the draft, and let's see what we what we, what we can do with those picks. Now the goal is to trade up to pick number five. Because we do have a lot of young players on this team. <laughs> and like I said, we're trying to make a dynasty. So I do want to trade up and get that Suns pick. Because I am kind of afraid of them taking RJ Hampton. And I feel like he can help us. All right. Actually, Suns have had this. Oh, 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 I'm tripping. All right. The Suns have whose pick? Who did the Suns pick? Uh, the Suns have the sixth pick. All right. Let's trade up and let's try to get the sixth pick. All right. What are Suns at? They have the sixth pick. I have the eighth pick. I'm willing to 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 give you guys. All right, I'm just I'm trading up two spots, so I'm willing to throw in. Honestly, I'm gonna overpay for this because I I want this player so bad. I'm giving you guys two other first round picks to slide down two spots. Are y'all drunk? I I think they're I, dog. I don't know why games try to like finesse you out of this kind of stuff. You guys already have another first round pick. I'm giving you guys the eighth pick as well as the twenty eighth pick. Are we just ex we're just pretty much ex exchanging picks here? Instead of me doing that, I'll just give you guys that. Dog. I know I don't know which guys are smoking. Dude. All right. We're going to do this trade. We're going to be trading away the 8th pick, the 28th pick, West Matthews, and the second round pick to move up two spots to pick number 6. Y'all just ex... I don't want y'all's first. Dude, see what happens whenever I try to apply logic to it? If they want to do this trade, I I'm going to do it. So thank you. Um, uh, I didn't really ask for it, but we have we are literally like the Boston Celtics, man. We have assets right now to help us win. And we are set in stone for the future. Literally, I, I was trying to make it logical. I'm, I, I was, I was literally giving them a way out, and they would not take it. It looks like Isaiah Todd is going number one though to the Nuggets. That's interesting. So maybe Jalen Green slips to pick number six. We're gonna go ahead and find out. Isaiah Todd goes to the Nuggets with the number one overall pick. Love, love that Nuggets pick, kid from Duke. Isaiah Todd is legit. He's at 81 overall, man. Isaiah Todd, if we if we would have got him, 
I might have tried to play him at small forward. 7 1. This man is a beast. Now, of course, he got himself a little bit of some haters. That's definitely normal. The Clippers have the second overall pick, and they take Jalen Green. And he was ranked the number one player. Best pick ever. NBA titles are soon going to follow. I don't know if you guys are, are Clippers fan, but he's an 82 overall, so he's even better than Isaiah Todd himself. <clears throat> Why? It's the Clipperest. It's the Clipperest pick ever. Head ass. Um. So they want to trade him to the Kings. Hell no. The 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 Clippers would never take that kind of trade. That's ass. And they take a center in a um Nifale Dante. I don't know y'all. I don't know this guy, but they're saying that he's gonna be All NBA. The fourth pick goes to the Cleveland Cavaliers. And who do they take? They take Kyrie Walker with this pick. They do have Mike Conley and Darius Garland on their team. So I get it, man. They, 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 they need a shooting guard. The Magic want to trade their pick and, and get D'Angelo Russell. They have Cole Anthony. So why would they do that? And they, they take a small forward instead. So let's freaking go. That, that's another reason why I, I, I did not trade with the Magic because they already had a point guard that they took last year in the top five. And with this pick, we're going to be picking up RJ Hampton, the exact player that we wanted. I think that he's going to help us out tremendously, you guys. Like, like I said, he has all of the measurables to be a star. Either we either we start him at point guard, or next season he might start at shooting guard, and Klay Thompson goes a small forward, and Miles Bridges, we, we get him that sixth man of the year. What's his overall? All right, he's a 79. So he was the fourth-rated prospect in this draft. All right, his open shot three is an 80. His potential is a 92. He has seven badges. He's going to be cold. His perimeter defense is a B. We're going to have an insane backcourt as soon as this team develops. So we take RJ Hampton, and we still have the ninth pick as well. Let's not sleep on that because I'm trying to I'm trying to trade that in the 30th pick. <laughs> I mean, if we can't, I'll, I'll just take a player because all these offers are, like, horrible. Yeah, these, these offers are complete trash. No, they're, they're not going to be trading him yet. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and actually, like, hold off and just draft a prospect with those two picks because why not? We honestly might as well. We got nothing to actually lose there. So why not do it? But, man, let's freaking go. Nah. Let's see what we can actually get, man. We are we are taking W's on W's. W's on W's. Of course, I want to see what that pick is worth. So we already got a backward that's already set. We got... Chris Dunn, Jalen Hands, and RJ Hampton. Why would I trade down for nothing? They wouldn't do that. I am happy with everything, to be real. Who's still left? <laughs> so we could also fill our need at small forward. Like, backup small forward. Or, I, I don't know. I don't know how we're going to be playing this, y'all. I really do not know how we're going to be playing this. Um... <laughs> But we got Scotty, but we got Jalen Johnson. This thing, he's going to be an all-star. One of the best play playmakers in the draft. He's small forward and point guard. Can apply pressure. Not uh, Should be definitely a servicing player in years to come. All right, what's the physical? He can't really shoot. His A potential, though. You just can't shoot at all, Scotty. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping a whole buck with you. you. You can't really shoot. Alex Antetokounmpo has nice shooting form. All that is cool. He ain't the best shooter as well. I could go across the grain and get Marcus Bagley, who should be able to shoot, right? Has not shooting form. Is capable of making long range shots in traffic. Produces well. All that all that good stuff, yada, yada. Perimeter defense is trash, though. I might go Jalen Johnson here. Even though his, his perimeter de defense is nearly the same. But you have B potential. He has A potential. But I know who Marcus Bagley is, and, and that jumper is going to be it's fire. I don't know what I want to do with this pick. I'm not getting Giannis's brother. I already had one of my. I don't need another one on my team. Either I'm going Marcus Bagley or Jalen Johnson here. Who's who was projected to actually go here? They they had us taking Alex onto the but Jalen Johnson was he was supposed to been gone. So I think that's who we're gonna take. Let's take Jalen Johnson. Hopefully he ain't a bust. That's the go. Hopefully he ain't trash. He's a 77, so that's definitely not that bad. We also have the last pick of the first round. We are really. Out here looking like Danny Ainge, man. We are really out here looking like Danny Ainge. And all of our trades make sense for both teams. 
that that's the best part about it. <clears throat> All right, so the thirtieth pick. Anybody here? Kai Soto from the Philippines. All star. They said this ceiling is an all star. Could be very useful in the right. Uh, could be a very useful player. He's seven five. I just realized that in the right system, his overall post game is repertoire. Is capable. Is considered above average. When determined, rebounder knows where to be and when. Cannot steal the ball. Um, he's slow, low IQ. We can work on all of that. His rebounding is great. Potential is through the roof. I'm going with the seven five guy. Look, man, this is the last pick of this round. I'm take I'm taking a project who might who might bang for us. You feel me? Now he's probably gonna be sitting in the G League the the entire next season because obviously we have my tour maker and the big O. But man, why not take that risk with the thirtieth pick of, of of the first round? All right, so I think that we definitely had a good draft. We picked up R J Hampton, Jalen Johnson, and Kai Soto. Grade our draft, you guys. This is going to be a long video. Of course, I'm going to be bringing back Bamba, Bridges, Gary Trent, all you guys on team options. We might lose Jello. That's the only thing. We we might lose Jello. I'm gonna I'm gonna restrict him, but I ain't matching none of his offers. Was we are in debt. We we're negative eight million in debt. Now, of course, Giannis would be a dub, but after we just beat his team, he he ain't coming here, and we can't afford him. Yeah, he ain't coming here. All right, but looking at all of our depth, point guard wise, it's 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 a dub. Chris Dunn, Hands, Hampton, and Rondo. Shooting guard, Gary Trent and Clay Thompson. Small forward, Bridges and Johnson. Power forward, Laurie in the Big L center. Bamba, Maker, and Soto. We we, we looking good, man. Now I'm not I'm not sure what kind of lineup I want to run next season. In case I want to run a lineup where Clay Thompson is playing small forward. Bridges is coming off the bench again. And then we and then we start with one of these guys. I, I don't know. We're gonna really gonna have to just go ahead and figure it out as the season goes. And just depending on how RJ bit on how Hampton develops. But alright. Well, looking at this free agency, I guess what we could use. Um we're good at everywhere. That's the thing. Like, we're honestly good at everywhere. I mean, if we can get a veteran presence who wants to come in and help us and not be too crazy, why not? But, but just but just looking at it, Melo is there. I could get Carmelo. Do I want a thirty-seven year Melo who's never gonna play for us? Not really. He's not. He's not crazy on defense. He's none of that. Iggy at least has a championship. But honestly, I don't. I don't need anybody. And if somebody wants to snag Jello, I, I'm gonna let them because like I don't really. I'm not. I'm not gonna match him. He's not. He's not gonna be playing here. So. It's really whatever. It's it's whatever. Yeah, let's go ahead and, and let's just sim through all of this. Let's get into player progression. All right, so after free agency, it looks like we lost Jello. So let's see where Leangelo went. Let's peep that real quick. <laughs> all right, so Leangelo went to the Miami Heat on an absurd contract. He's getting 17, he's getting nearly 18 million the, the first. He's 19, 20 million. Okay. And they gave him a player option. So let, let him ball out there in Miami. Okay. Hey, I'm not I'm not gonna say anything. Alright. I ain't gonna say nothing. Alright. That that's all I know. Player progression. Bamba doing his thing. Clay's he's at a 90. You went up six. That's great for us. We're really gonna have to just see how, how this team goes, man. I'm trying I'm trying to find out, man. Summer league, I don't care about the summer league at at all. Just to be real with you. And this is 2020-21 as far as draft classes go. This is the time where I'm just going to start to auto-generate and trade picks. Like, I'm honestly done drafting. But let's see. What do we need? Mo Bamba, I'm going to send him to perimeter shooting camp. Or should I send him to strength camp? What's his three? His three is a C. Let me let me peep that real quick. What's his open shot three? Because I've been sending him there all like for the... All right, it's a 79. All right, should I send him there? He's already a 90. Or should I send him to, like, strength camp? Yeah, weight or strength camp. Which one? Honestly, he, he's already been collecting bodies, so... He's already been collecting bodies. Let's send him to shooting camp, man. Let's get the jumper right, you feel me? Um, Next up... 
Lori Marketing, ah, uh, Bridges. I'm gonna send Bridges to. <clears throat> All right, you know what? All right, RJ Hampton. I can send you to Combo Guard Camp. Hampton can go to. Okay, and now he and now he's an eighty. Um, you can already kind of shoot. Dang, what what do I want to send you to? Oh, right, let's send Lori to athleticism camp. Wait, let's get that man's athletics up just a little bit. All right, so for this, so for this season, man, I gotta come up with the lineup. Yeah, sign those last c c couple of guys who were never gonna play and are ring chasing. Go ahead and sign them. Is anybody cool in free agency? Young waiters, they have some pretty nice guys in free agency just chilling there. But hey, man, that's that's their problem. Yeah, that, that's definitely their problem, man. But we we have a pretty fire team, man. Ooh, the Warriors guys, oh my, when they, when they get him, it's gonna be over. But yeah, looking at our team, this is what they this is what they want the lineup to actually be like. They want it to be Chris Dunn, Clay Bridges, Lowry, and Bomba. And off the bench, they want it to be something like it is. Now I am gonna go ahead and rearrange it because, well, I want to try and, and compete for a championship. But first off, let's put you in the G League. And now I'm gonna redo this entire backup bench because I really wanna, yeah, you know, look. Gary Trent is the one who's gonna be taking else here because this is gonna be the backcourt, and I'm and I'm gonna and I ain't gonna be playing Johnson. If we drafted him, I'm, I definitely wanna give this man a shot, even though he even though he can't really shoot. We're gonna give him a shot. So let me re let me rearrange this bench. Let's see what we can come up with. All right, so this is the lineup that we are gonna be running, you guys. Gary Trent is not really getting minutes, but we are gonna have Chris Dunn starting. Then it's gonna be Clay Thompson, Miles Bridges, Lori, who's now at an 88. Mo Bamba, and then Optimus is going to be RJ Hampton. He's going to be running that six-man spot. Jalen Hands, Onyeka, my tour maker, and then Jalen Johnson will be playing around nine minutes a game, just getting his just getting his feet wet. Let's see what this team can actually do, man. Um, I do want to check the, the numbers real quick. You're wearing number three. You're wearing 35. All right, nobody's wearing numbers that should be like, like I'm not I'm not getting I'm not going to let anybody wear like number one. As far as the other ones, I don't really care. But yeah. It still says that we are a contending team. We we are coming back from winning a championship. And hopefully we can just go back to back, man. Where do they got us ranked? The number two team behind Boston. Boston's team is mad interesting. I mean, it's Kyrie, Brown, Tatum. This team is interesting, man. Why is Nas Reed not, not starting over? You know what? That's the Celtics' fault, man. Let me know what you guys think about this video and this offseason. Next video, we're going to get it cracking. I'm trying to see what this team can do, man. I'm trying to see what this team can actually do. Um, Chris Dunn. I ain't gonna lie, he's kind of on thin ice because he's an 84. He's already an 80s rookie year. He's gonna develop. So we're really gonna have to just go ahead and see who plays better in, in their minutes. He's playing 25. Yes, he was a top pick. I'm interested on I'm really interested in seeing what this team can do. Because I think we're about to go back to back as champions. And Ronald's about to get ring number three.